Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to configure your Acer Wave 7 mesh routers. In the box you get these two devices which look the same and they are gonna communicate between themselves uh, wirelessly uh, to provide you mesh Wi-Fi so you have the greatest signal uh, in all of places at your house uh, on all levels because there are gonna be two access points and to connect them first you need to plug uh, them both into the power um, you get these power bricks you can switch uh, the plugs to European or um, British or American it depends on which did you get in the package to do that just click on this button then twist it uh, counterclockwise and now take another plug put it in and let me do that and twist it uh, just uh, clockwise and it's plugged as you can see I'm gonna use the European ones and first connect them to the uh, wall so I'm gonna plug them into the wall and then connect them to the routers at the back into this port and now since they are both uh, connected to the power you can see uh, one of them has laid up and the other one hasn't i guess oh yeah it's it's correct now mm, and now into one of them you should um, plug in internet cable you get this rg34 uh, 35 uh, cable in the box but i'm gonna use the other one uh, that i have and just plug it into one of these devices and now when it's connected uh, to the internet with this cable I can go ahead onto my PC let me just resize this camera view because we're still gonna use it mm, on any of those devices at the bottom you can see this sticker and here you can view mm, the first thing is the Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password uh, Go to your PC and connect to these routers Wi-Fi. Uh, so one of them uh, has uh, one of them has uh, no, b both of them have the same SSID. So just choose this standard one and click on connect. And now enter the password that's at the back. Let me just quickly do that. And now it says it's connected. So uh, we can go ahead into our favorite browser and at the back of your, at the bottom of your routers, there's also uh, something that says HTTP um, colon slash slash uh, 192, etc. Just uh, type it into your browser http colon slash slash 192 let's see okay and now you need to enter the password that's also at the back at the uh, at the bottom of your routers uh, it's named uh, admin pwd so just type uh, what's after the colon and click on login i think it's correct and now you'll get this pop-up i can uh, now hide the camera view and click on change now for to, to change the login password because you need to change it at the very beginning first enter the current password one more, more time the admin password of course then enter new password
Mm-hmm. Here you have some recommendations for the password for it to be safe. Mm, then click on apply. And now you can either start using Acer Wave 7 immediately or go through quick setup, which I recommend because uh, it will set up all the things you need at first. So click on quick setup. Now you can uh, change whether you want to use your uh, Wave 7 as mesh router, mm, mesh controller or mesh agent. Mesh controller will will use both of the devices that you have as a mesh. So that's what I'm gonna use now. Uh, start setup. Now you get this info that you need to connect to power supply. Uh, both of the devices. Plug one end uh, of the cable into your DSL, DSL or cable modem and then the other end, that's okay, that's connected, that's what I did, uh, into the internet uh, port, then connect your device uh, to Acer Wave 7 via Wi-Fi or LAN cable, that's done, you can click on next. Now you can choose the connection mode to DHCP, static IP or PPPoE, um, I'm gonna select DHCP, now you can uh, enter the primary and secondary DNS server. I'm gonna type in this one. Then next. And now you can change the Wi-Fi SSID, uh, uh, security type, encryption, Wi-Fi password, and the bands. They can be either 2.4 uh, gigahertz plus 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz plus 6 gigahertz depends on which devices uh, that you have uh, which uh, types they support but 5 gigahertz is more supported uh, usually then i'm gonna change the wi-fi ssid and change the wi-fi password then click on done After a while, it shows you this info that you, uh, that the setup is complete. You may check internet connection status in the dashboard or further on edit one uh, Wi-Fi settings in its related pages. Okay. Now uh, let's see if it reconnects correctly. Also, we need to make sure that we are connected to the network. Um, let us see. I'm gonna connect to uh, to the network because it. Okay, let's connect to our new SSID with the new password. Okay, we are connected, so we can reopen the dashboard and now we are uh, good to go we can use both of these devices mm. and uh, you can see that we have two mm, the two uh, devices connected the hard reset wi-fi which is my first device and the second one is t7c etc and it should be also visible here it is uh, and we can also connect to that and they both will work as a mesh mm, and that's all set good to go you can also go to uh, the i guess one or wi-fi yeah let's go to wi-fi then you can go to mlo settings and change the ssid and password of the second mesh device you can also go to mesh Wi-Fi and you can change all of these things. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.